Whoa, it's the illusion reporting from somewhere on Spaceship Earth. I need, I need like a piece. Oh, like not a, right now. Like, like a window piece. If you can find one, I'm, I just started my thing. So uh, I'm here in the garage. We're doing a garage project. We're making a, uh, a solar shower, a pressurized okay. solar shower for the, uh, the rack of Terra Cruiser five to go uh we're right up there on the racks so uh if you look online they're they're fairly expensive you know about 400 bucks right so me being me liking things on the cheap i was like there's got to be a diy and there is and it cost it i think it cost me about 120 bucks in parts so i'm using the four inch black pvc over there and um, I think I got an eight foot length, maybe 10. I figured I need about five feet of that. I got one of these bad boys. These are about 15 bucks a pop. So I got one of these, got those, a cap, a clean out right here, right? A clean out. And then I've got I've got uh, this with that to go into uh, my fill up, right? And this is my fill up. And also you can order these on live as a, a valve stem for a tire. So I'm gonna put that in there so I can pressurize it with a uh, bike pump. And then for the uh, spigot, I got this with the threaded thing for a, and for a brass nozzle. And so that's all of the materials running in about, uh, running, ah, did I just monkey it? Uh, running at about a, a buck 20. So, so what I'm gonna need tool wise, I think I got everything is I need my, uh, my, my primer and clear PVC cement. I, got, I have some of that sitting around the house. All garages should have some of that. Should always have some uh, plumber's tape. I've got a tape measure, my pencil, one of these. I've got a uh, power tools with a half inch drill bit. And I got my Sawzall with a, uh, with a nine inch blade with a, uh, you know, to cut the pipe. So the, my first move really is sort of my make or break move. And it's, and it's, and when I thought about it, I was like, this is the cheapest. So this is so I can fill up the water. So this is going to be off hanging off the tail of the truck. So I can put a hose in there, boom, fill it up, close it off. And then I can apply pressure right there. But the first thing I need to do is get this half inch hole in there. So, um, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to put the half inch hole in there and then I'm going to cut like a, I think about a four, four and a half. I'll start, I'll start with a five foot length, uh, a joiner piece. That's about six inches and another joiner piece, six inches. That should be about six feet of that. You could probably get away with a five foot piece. And then I'm gonna glue it all together. And that's it, it should be pretty basic. So let, let's let's see how basic this is. And um, like all good projects, it should go catastrophically wrong at some point along the process. So let me re-angle for, you, for your entertainment. So like a, like a garage surgeon, I got everything I needed out. I think I've got it all coordinated. So I'm going to start with this. I'm going to get this in there. So this is a half inch drill bit to put right through the top of this. And I, oh, watch out. Danger, danger. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use this. What do you got, Bird? What's up? Um, I can't. That was, can't what? Can't what? Why? I don't like the word can't. What can't you do? I can't um, take this thing, these two pieces. Well, well, use your Lego tool. 
All right, so we got that. There's a nice clean hole right there. And um, so this, this is kind of cool. I ordered a four pack of these. I think it was eight bucks. So it all comes, it's, it's uh, I was sort of surprised it's just one of those. It just threads right in there. Let's see, that should go in there. That fits perfectly. Let's see, I have my glasses out. I could probably auger out the hole just a bit more from the backside. From the take it from the backside, yo. Got my some. I even got my sandpaper handy dandy. So we'll roll that up, and uh, I think it just needs a little. What? Yeah, I did. That's that is sandpaper, birdie bird. Did you get your pieces off? Ah, see, dude, I told you you could do it. So step one is, let's see if this is, is all it needs. Bam! Is that, bam! Look at I got it. See? Nice, there you go. And I think that should be enough to get that in there. Wait, Dad, is that the thing that you screwed out? Yeah, it's, uh, I just drilled out so this would fit in there. That seems like it's going to fit in there. And then you just slap this bushing on top of it. And um, I think that's going to do it. And then it's just like a truck, dude. Like you put that little bad, bad boy on there and you, cr you clamp it down, dude. Let's see if this, how easy wait, this wait. is. Wait, what, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, I don't need that yet. That's the, the, the cap. That's the, uh, the cap for later. So we won't really know how successful I, I am on this. And, and what, one of the things I, why I picked this route versus like a flat cap was I don't have to glue this on. It's a, it's a, I, even if I monkey this right now, it's going to be okay. Like, I think that should almost be airtight I bet that we'll find out in a little bit but that's airtight right there the cap goes on all right boom step one so then now I think what I need to do is I need to go cut my pieces and glue all this up all right so we got our tape measure sawzall pencil and uh here, hold on hold on because that is too long, dude. So move, you're blocking the camera, dude. Four feet. Watch. You do? I, I that know. doesn't really work. What? Really yeah, it does. It works perfectly, man. Four feet. Oh. See? I'm gonna do it over here and see if we get a... All right, so.
Yeah, I needed two of those. I think that's the first sawzalling of 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 uh, twenty twenty one. That's fine. We got it. We're in. All right. So, where are we at now? We're at we're at the little bit of sanding and gluing stage of this whole op. Don't mess with that. Leave that. So you know, there's always the rough edges, and that's what the sandpaper's for. Then we'll do a. The sandpaper garbage. What? Sandpaper garbage. It, this will be when we're done. Why? Because, see, like, it, it's, uh... What? It's not what? It, well, it's not going to have any more life left in it when we're when I'm done yeah. with it. Because uh, it gets all used up, man. It's like a... What? Like a truck? Like a truck? Like that? Huh? Like that? What do you mean, dude? I'm kidding. Oh, are you kidding? So there's that one. That's for the uh, the the cap. What's this? Garbage tool. I shouldn't have made that so so tight. This is for the the drain off the side. Bam, bam, bam. It seems a little long, right there. But we'll figure that out. And um. You like that, Al? The hose, right? Yeah, dude. The hose. I could have probably, I could probably make these a little smaller. All right, we got all the burrs off. Why do they? Why do you need more smaller? I think they might be a little. So this is the clean, the clean out. Wait, just no, no, I need that, dude. You can use, you can have it in a second, bro. Is this the tape? Here, there's the sandpaper tape? tape. Yeah, that's my tape. There's the clean out. There's the clean out piece, okay. which will will be there. And Daddy, is this where you scrub it on? Yeah, and then I gotta get this. Nah, we'll be fine. This will make it. But do you even need the other one? What? Do you even need the other one? Other one what? The other one. That's the, that's the factory edge, dude. Limited sanding on there. All right. Okay, so this goes with that. I trapped the spider. You trapped the spider? Oh yeah, okay. I want the spider. Dad, you just don't lift up this thing, right? Okay? Okay. Alright, so there there basically is, dude. With the drain, we'll go up. Uh, we'll do a uh, we'll do a tester on the thing. No no. Thing yeah, that's fine. We'll go see what it do a dry fit on the truck. Look at it. So so I'm feeling pretty good about it. Like I was I uh, let's see your pencil in your ah oh, dude look at you go dude you're a super helper so we, we got the all the pieces sort of magically came out to the right size so i mark this right with the pencil mark so when i glue it together so i want this to be vertical because that's the uh that's the fill right that's for the fill that's the height and then down here at this end this is angled so i can uh See, now I'm debating, should I flip it the other way? Yeah. I don't know. I guess I kind of want, I think I do want it the other direction so the hose is towards the back, yeah. We want the hose towards the back so I can stand on the tailgate. Yeah, we're liking, we're liking no, that a little bit better off the back end, so. That's how it'll be. I almost feel like I need to do it a little angly like that. I haven't figured out how I'm gonna mount it to my racks yet, but we're, uh, we're getting there. So that's basically the tube. We'll glue it all together and give it a pressure test with some water and see where we're at.
Let's glue it together. All right, this is the, the part where you gotta act quick, but you gotta be patient. So I got everything I got everything marked out. So it's it's this goes into my end cap first. So we'll get we'll get Ooh, that. Black. Yeah, yeah. Prime. So so that's the purple primer. So boom, and then I need my glue. Uh oh, the glue's always. Oh no. The one thing I did. Oh, oh there it is. Ah, oh, nice. It means it's still good, dude. I could open it with my hands. All right. So let me prime all this up. And bam. Oh, you got some glue. That's okay. We're priming. We prime. Uh huh. All righty. So that's prime. It is chemicals, dude. I mean, it's it's good, but it it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna glue all this together. All right. So that one goes into there. That's in there, dude. So we got one piece down, glued, locked in. Then we come over here and we'll go back and forth. We'll seesaw this. So this is the uh, clean out end of it. Boom, we prime it up. We'll prime it up. We glue hey, it up. Daddy, yeah, bird, what? Tell them about something. You tell them about Remember stuff. Remember when I was watching the thing one? You tell them. Doing the, doing the, doing the, um, when you're doing uh -oh, the fall phone call MP. Yeah. I want to tell them about the, the, the scary chemical stuff. Okay. The deepest part of the ocean. You do that. You tell them about the phone call with MP. All right. So there's this. No, no, no. You got to move so they can come over right here. Sit right here and then they can they can hear you too. And they can see what's going on. So this is where I don't want to monkey it. Like that. I want to watch you. What? Okay. Just watch, dude. That's Roberto actually has that kind of glue too. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Wait. The, your, your fingers have that stuff. Yeah, yeah, well, you know, okay. I should have worn my my rubber gloves, but I didn't, dude. I'm gonna get the nah, video. it's fine. It's too late, dude. Don't even sweat it, dude. We're, we're deep. We're deep in the game. We are deep in the game. So, bam. bam. There we go. Ready, There's set. the end piece. We could get all, we could get all crazy, but here we're going to get this one in here. So, this is the, 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 the side wagon, the side wagon right here with the white. I was bummed I couldn't get it them all in black, but you know all the all the DIYers they 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 paint all this stuff. But we'll see if I really care that much to to bother to paint it flat black. So there's that pieces in there, which means that this is next. Right here. What? Well, well, what? You got to prime both. Remember, prime both sides, and you only need to glue the male end. But you want to prime all sides. That's my story, anyhow. Stay, stay, pri stay primed. Stay primed. Uh oh, I'm getting this stuff everywhere. Uh oh, I put my hands in it. There we go, there's that one. Now we're ready for the uh, the big connect. It's the big connect time. So I have my, my pencil marks on here somewhere. Where's my pencil marks? There's my one pencil mark, the other pencil mark. We prime, we prime, we prime, and we're priming. Don't get that on me. No, no, no. I'm not going to. Today, I, then I'll have to wear some gloves like that. Ah, uh, you're fine, dude. You don't need to wear gloves on this one. I don't so. wear gloves. Uh, if you want to wear some gloves, you wait, can. Wait, wait, wait. Where are the gloves? I don't know, dude. Just, we're deep. We're Where too, we're too gloves? deep in this to worry Where about it, dude. Are they? There we go. We'll line up our pencil marks. There's that. And I, then, um. Wait. What, what, what? what? I don't know where they are, dude. You're, you're asking the wrong, the wrong dude, man. And then we, uh, we prime. Priming and we prime. Okay, well, that's fine, dude. Just, just stick with me. Don't distract. We're in the, we're in the game, dude. We're deep, dude. I know, but see, now what you're doing is you're making it about, 
about you and I'm right in the middle of this whole thing, dude, and I lost my pencil mark. Oh no. Where did I put my pencil mark? Is that it? Uh-oh. So if that was the shower, it's gonna be, where's this pencil mark? Uh-oh. I can reprime, that's for sure. Where's my pencil marks? Mm -hmm. Where did my pencil mark go? Uh-oh. So that's that. I can kind of, I kind of, what? I need gloves. It's going to be, all right, I guess that's it right there. It goes like that. I'm going to make it a little bit at an angle. Here we go. We prime. Worst case scenario, I just cut it all apart and just put a new big joiner piece on there. That's the beauty of this PVC operation. And then, yeah. bam, I think that's it. That's, that's it. Oh, I got one more piece right there to take care of. Prime. Prime, Prime time, yo. Oh, wrong side. Ha -ha. <laughs> and then, bam, and that's then, okay, bam. Right? And then boom. All right, we're done. We got that. We let sit. Okay, you can hit the red bur button, bird. We're finally ready to test this out. Oh, it took me forever to get a short length of hose. See what? Yeah, there you are. Right there. So I got one of these, like the... Uh, uh, we'll show them the bike rack a different time. So I got one of these for it, so it's uh, the easy snap, bam, right there. I can't do it with one hand, but let's see, hold on. Oh, there you go, look at that angle. So that should, that'll click the hose on pretty easily. So let's go fill this up first, and then we'll, we'll come back. So the fill up is right here. The moment of truth, will it hold Will it hold water? So there's the, the lid, and that's got the air pressure yeah, on it. So. All right, so let's go. And then I, you can get a 10-foot uh, a length of hose, which, which will uh, get this filled up. Uh, I just make, just makes it from the, uh, from our water, water bib over there. this a little differently could have been a could have been a total blunder here I got a I got a leak right right in here somewhere so the first thing I got to do is get all get all the water out and figure that out why there's a leak right there that's kind of a drag That's a whole, it's a whole part right there. It's a whole mess. Well, of course it would be this one. It couldn't just be this cap. It has to be this whole thing. We'll see, we'll go from there. But daddy. All right, we're here. We got the... Uh... Daddy, can, can show me? Yeah. So uh, I gooped this all up, so we stopped that leak there. We got that one handled. That was just a uh, operator error, if you will. Then we're coming over here, and the one thing that I'm kind of, I kind of wanted to put this to be a clean out, because one of the videos I saw had this as a clean out, but I think I just need a little bit more plumber's tape. There's a little bit of water coming out of there. This one seems pretty solid and dry. I put a bunch of plumber's tape to seal that up. The problem I noticed right off the bat was that the water pressure isn't sustained, but I have a, a air pressure thing that hooks to my battery. Daddy, yeah. Can you let me see? See what? Wait, can you? Can you what? How about you show them my 
So let's see your run. Now he wants to show you his run. Let him go. Circle tracking. Cold a sacking. Cold a sacking, circle tracking. We got it. So um so we do have we do have I think like there's the water, but the pressure isn't sustained. So I gotta figure that out. So I got the video's not done. I wanted to post it today, but we have we have two issues. We've got to get the sustained pressure going, and I got to plumber tape that up right there with some more plumber tape because I don't like leaks. Now I'm not down with the leaks. So we're almost there. We'll see, we'll see. I want to find out what this thing does when it gets hot because the heat, when it heats up the water, that's going to add a level of air pressure as well. So I, we'll, see, we'll see where we go when this thing's under uh, heat situations, but we're close. It's finally test day for the for the shower. So I got my uh, my hose with the easy click bib right there, right there that clicks in. I got ten feet of ten feet of hose. Seems like that would be enough. I got my my nozzle, and then I did go do research. So you can't really pump this up with air pressure, but I do have one of these little mini pump, little air compressors that connect to the battery. And I highly advise anyone that goes out into the world to get one of those mini air compressors. They're rad. I should do a whole review of one of those. So we're about to like, we're about to fire it up, man. See what this is all about. I feel, I almost feel like I should, should see what it's like. It's kind of excited, dude. We don't know. So, we're going to put some pressure on this thing. So, excuse the noise. Well, well maybe we'll just... Uh, there it is. Quickly gets up to 15 PSI. All right, we're opening up the valve. We got... Let's see. It's not excess. Oh, there's the all. Oh, oh, that's nice. That's hot. That I need to get a little, uh, little bit of of stuff in there. But like, wait a minute. This is this is kind of rad, dude. Let's check it. Let's see. Oh, that's a nice temperature. That's been sitting out. But the air pressure goes pretty quick. You would want to keep this on, but that's okay right there. That's sort of a gravity fed heat flow. Yeah. That's winning. I'm pretty fired up on that. I was stoked I already had the, uh, I already had the uh, compressor. So the whole setup here is probably a buck 20 for the whole thing piped. I didn't count the actual comp, the, 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 the cement to glue it. I bet just, let's say safely, it's 150 bucks all gear. The compressor, I think those are like 90, but you should just have one. If you're incorporating one of these into your life, you should already have, that should have been first in your kit. You get you know what I'm saying? So uh, I'm, I'm super pumped on this setup right here. Like it's a win. It's a super good win. And um, this is the only thing I would do different. I don't think I would put the clean out valve on this. 
If I were making it, I wouldn't do this clean out valve. I would just hard seal both ends and then just keep it carry plumber's tape with you to keep this one going. But it's pretty good setup, dude. I'm kind of fired up about it. So uh, there it is. If you, if you like this and uh, you want to support the channel, we're about to go on a road trip. So uh, get in on the ground floor. Do our thing. So this is the illusion. Links down below. It's uh, PayPal, crypto, whatever, man. We like silver, dude. Silver and Legos. That's our preferred commodity. And uh, you can send those to 30765 PCH, number 523, Malibu, California, 90265. This is the illusion. Getting after it.